everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rahana's Cuisines. Today we are going to be making homemade cauliflower pizza crust. And I'm telling you, this turned out amazing. So if you want to learn how to do this, let's go ahead, discuss all the ingredients. But before we do that, if you've already subscribed, thank you so much for your support on my channel. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead, watch my videos. I hope you like them. And if you do, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. There is a notification button right next to the subscribe button. Hit that so that you get a notification every time a new video has been uploaded. For the winter right now, I am doing two uploads every Wednesdays and every Fridays. So let's go ahead and see how to make this. Here I have two cups of cauliflower that I shredded in my little shredder. And I just want to show you that um, I have a very inexpensive $1 shredder. I don't use it very much, so I don't invest in an expensive one. This does the trick. You want to use the large here, the large pieces, and you just want to shred it. So I went ahead and shredded it. This is for my, my um, cauliflower head was really big. I got, I saved some, I've got four cups still remaining inside the fridge. So um, I'm not going to tell you how many heads of cauliflower it's going to take, but you're going to need two cups. I'm going to have one cup of cheddar and mozzarella that is mixed right here. We're going to do one egg. And then here I have a quarter of a teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of Italian um, Italian seasoning, and then a quarter of a teaspoon of oregano um, seasoning. And then I'm also going to be adding a dash of salt in here. Now I like my crust um, um, where it has a, a good amount of seasoning in there. So that's going to be completely up to you. So now this is going to be a little different. We're now going to do this where we're gonna, um, you know, put it in the microwave or melt or, or put it on the stove and then take all the water out. I tried doing that and I, I just find it super tedious and it's just too much work. So I uh, decided to go this route. So um, what you wanna do here is you just want to cook your cauliflower up enough to where it's going to release a little bit of water and moisture. Once it gets, so you want to do this for approximately seven, between five to seven minutes. Once you get it where you know, you don't want to cook this in a sense that you don't want to brown it, but you just want to cook it enough where you're going to get rid of all that moisture that you would be wringing out, you know, when you would have done it that way. So let me cook this for about five, seven minutes, and then we want to cool this mixture completely before we start adding all our other ingredients. It's been going for about five, seven minutes. Now what I want to do is what I want. I don't want to cook it. I don't want to brown it. So now I'm going to turn this off. And then what I've done here is I just, all right. So I have a, uh, a tray here that I have lined with a table. So then what I'm going to do is I have this paper towel here and I'm just going to put the cauliflower on top to catch the any extra moisture and this is also going to help us expedite the cooling process. So once this cools down, we're gonna come back and we're gonna put this pizza together. I'm gonna show you this. Um, we're going to take the cauliflower and we're gonna empty that in a bowl right there. Now, um, I wasn't sure if you're gonna be able to see the paper towel as how much moisture has already gone in there. But I think this will also show you that look at how wet everything has become. Um, and so that is awesome. That's perfect that it um, collected all that moisture. All right. So now I am going to put in a new parchment paper. So into our cauliflower, we're going to add all the spices, all that goes in. I'm gonna mix it up really, really well because I really want the cauliflower to get all those spices. We're gonna break our egg in a separate cup so that if it's bad, I don't have to throw up everything. I'm just gonna mix this. I know it's a small bowl. I'm just gonna mix this. We're gonna put this inside of our cauliflower and then add our cheese in there as well. Now we're gonna mix everything really well. So 
And now, you just want to make it into like a ball shape. Let's get that down into our baking tray. Now, this is not going to hold like a regular dough would hold, right? But it still is nice and it can, it's still sticking together really, really well. So at this time, I'm going to make it into an o a round shape. You know when you have your frozen pizzas, I kind of saved the round piece. I'm going to put that on the bottom to now, this is going to guide me to where I'm going to have a really nice round pizza. Now, you want to make sure that it's not very, very flat, but you also want to make sure that it might not come out all the way to the round piece. Because if it's too flat, it's not going to hold up, right? Because there's no gluten in here. I mean, there's no, yeah, and there's no flour in here, so it's not going to hold up. So as you go along, just kind of see the thickness. And we're going to see how this goes because um, I actually um, had bought a uh, ready-made cauliflower crust. And I really didn't care for it at all and um so i thought let me just try and make these at home and see how that goes all right so we've got a nice circle i can take this out from the bottom all right now this is going to go into the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes and then when we come up when we come back i'll show you what it looks like our 15 minute mark and I absolutely am very very happy with this you can see that this crust is going to hold together really well but it still needs a little bit of time to do to set so now I'm going to put it back in there for another seven minutes and then come back and tell you what it looks like all right now take a look at this so you can see here that everything is mixed in really, really well. It's holding really, really well. Let's look at the bottom. All right. That's sorry. Just this. That's just my timer in the oven. So we're not at. We're not that um, dark on the bottom. So I'm gonna try and stick it back in for another five minutes because I like my crust really, really brown and um, extra toasty. So let's do that, and then when we come back, I'll show you what it looks like. All right. Take a look at this. This is how I like my crust. So it really depends um, how cooked or uncooked you want it. Now, let's look at the bottom. Okay, I'm really happy with the bottom as well. So what I wanna do now is I am going to take it off. I'm gonna try very hard to do it slowly. Look at this, this is cool down. And I'm so happy with this pizza crust. I don't know how it's gonna taste after we eat it. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pizza sauce on there. Now, if you are diabetic, just make sure that you read how many grams of carbs are into the uh, pizza sauce. Because usually pizza sauce has a lot of sugar in it. All right. So I read mine. It's not as much. I'm not having too much carbs with this. So I should be okay. All right. So we're going to get a nice layer of the uh, pizza sauce on there. Not too thick. All right. Next. I am going to do just a little bit of cheese and then I'm going to start piling my toppings on. So for my toppings here I have a little bit of um, the seek kebab that I made so it's like a you know like a kebab mix that I did and I, I wanted that on a pizza. I don't care for a chicken on a pizza but I think I'm going to like this. And I don't care for the pepperoni. I know, I know, but I just don't. Um, so I think this is going to turn out really, really good. All right. And then the next thing that I have to have on my pizza is mushrooms. I love mushrooms. So we're going to do mushrooms. And this is, um, I, I probably will not be able to eat even half of this because I usually get really, really full. So I'm going to have a really nice hearty dinner today. All right okay so there we go next i love green olives so we're going to do green olives all right 
going to do a little bit more cheese right on top. We're going to put this back into the oven because now we're just wanting to melt the cheese. At um, I'm going to do 450 degrees just to melt the top cheese and then I'll come back and show you. I know I have so many toppings on there. And then we're going to do some tomatoes on here just like that. Now at this time, if you wanted to, you could sprinkle the top with oregano, more oregano and um, Italian spices if you wanted to. So now I'm just going to stick this in the oven. Cauliflower crust pizza is ready. I'm going to cut it. And I honestly think that it looks much better than the one that we had bought that was ready made. Um, I just think that I piled on the veggies too much, but hey, look at that. So you can tell that, you know, obviously it's not going to be like the dough, but at least it's not falling apart. It's holding, holding on really, really well. As far as the taste test, no. I'm going to be very honest with you. Is this pizza taste exactly like what we buy? No, it doesn't because it, it's not made from flour. Does it taste like cauliflower? No. Is it something that I can have as in once in, in once in two weeks? Yes, I can definitely eat this. I know that the one that we bought um, was something that I just, it was just falling apart. It was just not, just didn't do it for me. But this crust turned out super amazing. I'm very, very happy with the one, the way it has I hope turned that out. that you enjoyed spending time with me in the kitchen today. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rahana's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. Make sure that you go ahead and share this video with join everybody. Me on this episode of Rahana's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. See you then, friends.